keto, low carb, and diabetic friendly grocery haul. Let me start off by saying I go to several different grocery stores from Walmart to Aldi, Big Lots, and sometimes I'll even throw Sam's in here. So if you're wanting to know what's new at the grocery store, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So as soon as I upload, you'll be notified. For additional content, make sure you check that description box because I'll have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest all linked down there, as well as any discount codes or specials that I may have. Never pay full price for keto items because I probably have a discount code for you. And remember, if if you found anything new this week, put it in the comments below and help some of us out. Maybe I missed it. Okay, let's go inside and let me show you what I picked up this week. Didn't pick up too much at Walmart, just a few things. And I broke down and bought some cheese. It was painful because the cheese that I pick up is the massive two pound bags. And at the first of the year when I bought them, they were around $5.48. They have now went up to $7.48. So I did get the Fiesta blend. And like I said, this is just a mix of cheese. It is the 32 ounce two pound bag. I buy it in bulk like this because we eat a lot of cheese. And then I also picked up up one of the mozzarella it's the same thing seven dollars 48 cents two pound bag great value pepper jack cheese one pound block this is one of chris's go-to snacks of choice he'll make like a little meat tray maybe some pork rinds and he likes to have the pepper jack cheese he's really picky about his pepper jack this is the only one that he has found that he is in love with so if you guys have a favorite pepper jack cheese, let me know what it is. As far as veggies go, got some jalapenos. I think there's six or seven in here because right now I'm obsessed with jalapeno poppers. Really simple, cream cheese, shredded cheese, crumbled up bacon, stuff it in jalapenos, put them in the air fryer, that's it. Got a zucchini, just gonna chop it up, season it, put it on the black stone, and then just saute it pretty much, and we'll have it as a side one night. Also got some brats. These are the Johnsonville smoked brats. Here's your information on the back in case you're wondering. One is a serving, 200 calories. You've got 18 fat, eight protein, and two total carbs. This is another one of those items we're just gonna throw on the Blackstone, probably fix these one night when we meal prep. That way all we have to do is just warm them up and go. We pick up eggs pretty much every single time we go to Walmart. Right now, the Vital Farms has went up to $4.50, but the Eggland's Best Cage Free are only three dollars dozen eggs large brown cage free we're gonna eat on these a while until the vital farms go back down got two containers of the two pack of philadelphia cream cheese because i go through a lot of cream cheese repeat items sugar-free whipped heavy cream got two of those and i also got four of the ratio keto friendly yogurt two in the coconut two in the strawberry talk about them all the time you need to try them if you haven't. They are a thick consistency. Lots of different flavors to choose from. 15 fat, 15 protein, and two carbs. Plus they're absolutely delicious. There must be a sriracha shortage because I can't find the one I usually pick up, but they had one by Texas Pete. We don't use a lot of this. Chris puts it in his eggs and stuff like that. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I'll keep you posted and let you know if it's any good. And then I also picked up some of the Parmesan Ranch. This one is the Olive Garden. This one is my favorite of all time. If you've not tried this ranch, you need to just know. It is super dirty, dirty, low carb, keto. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's not clean. But hey, two tablespoons, only one total carb. I like it. It tastes delicious. You've got to try it. That's it. Small haul. The main reason we went to Walmart was because we needed massive amounts of cheese. Before we leave the Walmart haul, I do want to mention something that I got in the mail. This is from Hilo Life, and it's letting everyone know that the four ounce bag of tortilla style chips will be available in select Walmarts across the country. This is great news for people that do not like to order online. Ultimate Taco is their newest flavor and my favorite. And then they also sent some other goodies. A massive insulated water bottle that says Hilo Life. You know I need to get in more water. A canvas tote bag. I'm not sure where the Walmarts are going to place these. They could be in the chip aisle or they could be over in the supplement section where you find things like Slim Fast and Quest. Be on the lookout if you're like me and you love the Hilo tortilla chips.
not gonna lie, we went in Sam's looking for a rotisserie chicken. Still none to be found anywhere. Let me know if you guys are having that same issue. The one thing not pictured is I got a case of Coke Zero. It's outside in the fridge already getting cold because I have been out for a while. I like to pick it up at Sam's Club because you get more and you basically pay less than you would if you picked it up at Walmart or somewhere. Things we picked up. Pink Himalayan salt. This is the member's mark. It's in the grinder. It's just easy and convenient to have one of these on hand. So we try to keep one at all times. Member's mark creamy almond butter. I use this in a lot of the recipes that call for peanut butter if I don't want to use that because peanut butter will spike me just a little bit more than almond butter will. So if I'm having blood sugar issues, I'll substitute peanut butter with almond butter and not have to worry about that. This one is 24 ounces. Ingredients almonds and salt. Two tablespoons is going to be a serving, 200 calories, 17 fat, six total carbs. And I have to go by total carbs now. And that's just because I have to take insulin for total carbs. Net carbs doesn't work for me anymore. But it does have three dietary fibers. So if you're going to go by net carbs, you've only got three in this for two tablespoons and then seven protein. Store your nut butters that are natural upside down. That way you're not going to have to worry about stirring up the oil that rises to the top. Take it from someone who has learned the hard way. Make sure that lid is on there good or that oil will come out. Black Label Hormel Fully Cooked Bacon. 72 slices in here. It's about $18 now. It has went up significantly, but there are 72 slices in here. If you go to the grocery store and just buy the small pack of the fully cooked bacon that has mm, 10 to 15 slices in it, you're gonna pay about $10. So it is cheaper in the long run if you can find it to pick this up at Sam's. There was a shortage of it for quite some time. So when we run in there to pick up a few things, if they have one, I go ahead and snag it. It is really sad when we run out of bacon. Four slices is going to be a serving, 80 calories, six fat, five protein, and one total carb. This does not need to be refrigerated until you open it. Duke's Shorty Sausages. There are three individual resealable packages in here, and they have also now went up in price as well. They're about $13. And it's gonna still be cheaper than if I bought the individual packs at Walmart or any other grocery store. They run about six or seven dollars. This is one of my go-to snacks because a few of these and some cheese does not make my blood sugar go up. So I do not have to take any insulin for that. It's gonna be low carb and it's gonna also be filling and high protein. Two links is a serving, 130 calories, 11 fat, seven protein, and less than one carb. This is something we have not bought in a long time but Chris is home now and he loves his white queso cheese. You could make one yourself that would have a lot cleaner ingredients in it because there is a huge list right here. Too many to go over. Two tablespoons is going to be a serving. It's going to be 80 calories, seven fat, four protein, and one total carb. We use this when Chris makes pork rind nachos. He'll throw everything he would normally put on nachos on top of pork rind and then add this cheese as well. Okay, I saved the pistachios for last because honestly, I don't want to talk about them. You can see I've already been in these. These are just the wonderful roasted and salted pistachios. Massive bag, no shells, easy to over consume. Ingredients, pistachios and sea salt. Calories, 130, 13 fat, which is great. Six protein, eight total carbs and three dietary fiber, meaning five net carbs if you're doing it that way. But for me, I have to count the eight carbs. And a fourth of a cup is gonna be a serving. The problem with pistachios, it is one of those nuts like cashews that makes my blood sugar spike. We're talking same number of carbs as other nuts that do not bother me. Macadamia nuts don't spike me. Almonds, pecans, walnuts, none of those. Pistachios and cashews are my enemy but they're also my two favorites. I have no willpower when it comes to these, so I have been having some blood sugar spikes. I keep telling myself I will not buy any more pistachios, but again, I end up buying more pistachios. When these are gone, that's it. I can't keep doing this to myself. 
it's not healthy. But if you're just doing low carb and keto and you're not a type one diabetic, these are gonna be fine for you unless you have control issues, willpower issues like I do, and you may over consume them because they are already shelled. You may wanna pick up the ones that are gonna take you a little longer to eat because you need to crack the shell first. Okay, that was what we picked up at Sam's this week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.